Oh, powered by aliens? Yeah, everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the jammiest intro ever. Let's do them space blues, baby. Uh. Yeah. Space banjo. Yeah. Yeah. How? Okay, I gotta quit jamming. This is Journey to the Savage Planet. We start for Earth to the destination. Plop. Error. 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 Oh no! Bad things have happened. Uh. Hi! My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. You're welcome. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. Woohoo! From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now, to the stars! <laughs> Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ERY26. Ah, oh, I feel so special. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, boing, catalog boing. its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. Crack team or a team that smokes crack? The more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Ah, oh. progression. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer oh, that is yay. more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> But I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. Yay. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. That Welcome. was creepy. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first, please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind. So we can make sure you're not crazy. Communication. Uh, computer. 100 megahertz CPU. I mean, I guess in the terms of like it being like super cheap and 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 ultra rugged, you know, to get out into space and it doesn't take a lot of power to run, therefore not a lot of heat. Last designed to last a long time. I, maybe. I, I mean, I gotta get that. This is like. The future! One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Oh my god. So it's like mega super ultimate 80s and 90s haircuts for everyone. Okay, we gotta go with Miss Perm over here. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. I mean, yeah, sure. Will you message? 
Oh, it's the welcome day, first day. Yeah, explorer name here. Oh, I feel so special. Okay, let's uh, go out of here. Exit. And Where now you're out? ready to explore. Please walk Yay. downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside Ooh. on this glorious new planet. How do I know I want to be discombobulated, ma'am? Uh... Discombobulation! Near, 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 near. Uh, ooh, boots. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Uh, hey, in no, your exploration, no. the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Uh, exterior hatch? You mean, you mean this one? I thought it was like we have no equipment. Oh, this one. Hey, interact. Yes. Of course. Oh. Bam! Yes! Percussive maintenance. Perfect oh. time. Doodle -doo -doo. Meow. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. Yay! The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness. Ah, Do that now. Bang upness. Okay. Uh, technical. Term. Don't forget to continually scan your surroundings. What? The camera will transmit data uh, back to Kindred scan. HQ, which will send you blueprints for stuff. Then you can collect stuff to make this. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Okay. Fuel tanks are intact but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. Oh, that's kind of scary. Uh, round trip. This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. Uh, yay. That's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> no other description. That's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> hey, is there any more stuff? Oh, okay, cool. Uh Covering this, I think. Okay. Oops. Uh, yeah. Uh, go here. Karate chop. Get out of my way, bitch. Look at that. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. I won't lie. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. I mean, okay. Ow! You bitch! Stuck, bitch. 
Can I not use the grab to blow things up? Uh, okay, well, I, I have carbons now. What do I do with the carbons? Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Fancy. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. How do you know I have meat hands? Hi, my oh, name is Martin. Oh, this is the same thing. Okay. Um, I got excited. I saw a flashy pit. Uh, yes, we already seen that. Okay, let's see. Now, Bluster, simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with yeah. exemplary convenience. With tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, corn, chocolate mousse, our candy, chili bacon burger, sunny mayonnaise, chives, baked meat, parmesan cheese, vanilla swirl, Bon John donut, Salisbury steak, pasta paisano, buffalo banana wings, horse biscuits, pineapple pizza poppers, lamb's bleed, poutine, wonton, beagle surprise, cucumber shit water, nose broth, and literally trillions more. more. Now that's good flavor. Rob, the 100% artificial food replacement shell taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob. Eat with the mob. Replace your food with Rob. Rob's considered a plus line. Special cluster is not cleared for non-terrestrial temperature. Check it out under any circumstances. Please be careful. See what type of detail. Uh, that 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 was um a little bit disturbing here. How 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 do I make stuff with my fancy 3D printer thingy? Yes. 3D printer? Alien research. Okay, uh, Well, I guess... Meat Buddy, is that it? Ooh! Print! Print here. Uh, use 3D printer. Weapon! No, no weapons. Items! Ah! Select! Uh, how do I, how do I make, I, I'm hitting select, do I already own it? Oh, okay, I think I do already own it. Okay, so this is all the stuff I already own. Okay, well that, that, that was pointless, I think. Ambient temperature 81 degrees, biosigns nominal. Good. Okay, yeah, yeah, crouch. Lovely. Aha. New, 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 new. Ah, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Okay, okay. okay. Ooh, ooh, fancy stuff. I am detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. Nice work. You already have the required amount of carbon to craft a highly functional base level Nomad Plasma Pistol. The 3D printer inside the Javelin is ready for your input. Okay. Oh! Uh! Does not work. Don't, 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 don't work, man. Well, I guess we gotta get our Plasma Pistol. <laughs> do, 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 do. Eating that grub, baby. Grab, you delicious, uh, shit flavored crab. You can craft an upgrade if you wanna. Well, I wanna. Beat scraps, fat, and gristle finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting. Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with meat buddy. Reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short fly chips, your new best friend will emerge ready to cuddle. Meat Buddy, the Snugly Playmate from Slimo. Hmm. 
Can you make, uh, never mind, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> okay, print. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. Indeed. Advanced battery. Okay, how do, how do I, do I have it? Oh, supercharge. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How do I select it? I guess it will tell me. Ambient ah. temperature 92 degrees. Bioscience nominal. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. What was that? Something, something, walk forward, something, something, sprint. Ah. Yes. Basic navigation. Why do I have a feeling this is a bad place for a bad thingy? incorrectly, but oh, our initial wow, scan tire. said there oh. should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Wow! That one was juicy! Bonus loot! I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration effort. Please scan it. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna pop! Might want to get back. Drugs, but good drugs for healing, not fun. Ah, just in case killing drugs. the adults wasn't sadistic enough. These unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Ethically iffy, yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. Okay. This fungazoid sports several spongy, porous pom pom pods. Ooh. Ah, a natural spa. How tranquil. Like something. No, it's not something. Oh, I'm going to Boing. Boing. Hmm, I believe that mixing that orange substance. 
assistance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Hmm. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. Boy. Boy. Oh, I see a new a new plot over there. But we have to like go back to base and after we slap things of course, obviously. Give me all your beans. Why are you not I uh, must be full. Uh, uh, uh. What you think about that, bitch? Boing! I need to zapify it. Yes. Now that's metal. Huh. This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. Yay! As with all edibles, take it slow. Drugs! <laughs> we, we, we got space drugs. Space drugs. Drugs are bad. Okay. Hey. Ah. But I want to get on the thing, game. Do, do, do. They're getting a the teleporter. New, 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 new space sci-fi music. Where, please? Yeah. Oh, we got all the stuffs. Now, what was this message? Ding! Uh, Claire said, Trish probably made on the lab, my isolation, and so space exploration. Sort of sit in. Personal sacrifice, Martin Tweed, conspiracy systems. He was interested in one paragraph summary he skimmed, documenting our 47. Well done. Uh, 74. Practice pioneers just hard work. Uh, Get awareness. Leave no stone unturned. The stone should just smash it into pieces. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. uh, fractions of the cost. Have fun. Okay. Well, that's helpful. Go Superlicious Mega Morphological Food Base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with Platinum Slurp Plus, Nutra Minerals, Power Booster, and 20 million. Rock, anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with exemplary convenience. With tastes, flavors, and textures like feet, chicken, corn, chocolate mousse, hard candy, chili bacon burger, sunny mayonnaise, chives, baked seed, Parmesan cheese. Vanilla swirl, Bob John Donuts, Salisbury Sting, Pasta Paisano, Buffalo Banana Wings, Horse Biscuits, Pineapple Pizza Poppers, Lance Flea, Poutine, Wonton Fecal Surprise, Cucumber Shit Water, oh, yeah. Nose Broth, and literally trillions more! Now oh, yeah, that's good flavor. Broth, the 100% artificial food replacement gel taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob, eat with the mob. Replace your food with Broth. Broth is considered a plus nine retro cluster and is not cleared for non terrestrial territory. Do not under any circumstances be to Star Journal. See website for details. Okay, tweet personal. Oh, we have a personal message. Hello. Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY26. And I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data. 
And I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... Whoa. <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... This guy's so we... Creepy. We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity, after all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Wow, that guy is so creepy. At Mini Mall. Oh, monkey. Mini Mall Monkeys Micro Mills Plaza, the ultimate Earth Life Please. Simulator. Create tiny human life forms by just adding sub zero radioactive water to a micro life powder packet and see your mall's inhabitants grow in just minutes. Watch them stroll, shop, and live as they autonomously move throughout their very own shopping complex, completely unaware of your presence. <laughs> Engage in fascinating examination of standard Earth activity or declare a Black Friday. And send your shoppers into a violent bargain hunting frenzy. Where only the strong survive! <laughs> Mini Mall Monkey's Micro Mills Plaza comes with environmentally stabilized shopping mall bio chamber, three packets of powdered micro monkeys, and stirring stick from Lil <laughs> Labs. Micro monkeys. That's awesome. I love the commercials in this. So dystopian, so 80s and 90s, and very disturbing. Okay, uh, we gotta go find the special structure for the creepy dude. Temperature 92 degrees. Bio signs nominal. 92 degrees of what? Because this looks like snow. This doesn't look like 92 degrees of anything. Uh, okay, guys, maybe Kelvin. Uh, I think I want to leave this episode off on a cliffhanger. If you like this episode of Wild and Wacky and Inflatable Fun, smash like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more gaming goodness. And I will see you all in the next one.